I am Lucas Mack, and I'm on a mission to see the hurting get healed and the healed go out and heal others in order for all of us to experience the true love and light we desire. This podcast is me sharing my journey with you so you don't feel alone in your journey. Welcome to the Golden Rule Revolution. Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another episode of the Golden Rule Revolution. I am Lucas Mack. Thank you for joining me on this journey of seeing the hurting get healed, the healed go out and heal others, and awaken to our divine sovereignty, awaken to the truth, beauty, and goodness of who we are. We are such beautiful people. Humanity is so beautiful. And yes, we've forgotten. Yes, we have been beat down by dark forces that seek to take the beauty within us and siphon it off and use it for their own own purposes that do not serve us as humanity in the immediate term. But when we awaken, it actually did serve because we can see the contrast. We can see our power. We can see our hero's journey in this journey and this time, which brings me to why I'm really excited about today's episode, because I'm bringing back Trevor Carney for the fifth time. I've never done five episodes with anyone and my brother, Trevor, such a beautiful soul. I love having these conversations with him. In this episode, you hear his journey of the Irish awakening that he is stepping into. You're going to hear us talk about all sorts of stuff. And ultimately, the time that we are in, it's so beautiful. So everyone enjoy my brother, Trevor for part five. So my brother, Trevor back for number five and excited to have you back, brother. Thank you. You're the first person I've ever done five episodes with. So this is exciting to keep it going, man. I love it. Um, We were just talking before I hit record that the times that we're in are just I use the word excruciating, but also exciting, um, hard, but thrilling. (laughs) It's like everything. It's everything right now. Like anything, however you want to dice it. It's interesting. I had a call with a gal this morning who's anti-religion and grew up in a Lutheran church and was spiritually abused in it and the whole nine yards. And, uh, I was like, you know, the whole church, every church is going to crumble. Their Catholic church is about to crumble and it's going to take with it every denomination that's been an offshoot of it. It's going to take down the whole, the whole thing. She's like, well, how do you know this? I said, well, the, I said, Ratzinger, the Nazi Pope, he supposedly was just turned up dead, but he's probably been dead a lot longer, but there he's releasing a book after his death that documents the gay clubs in the in the seminaries and the the diabolicalness of the church and it is going to rock when it comes out it's going Mm. to rock the world it's interesting one in four americans in in uh, the last census um or one of the last i actually don't remember if it was last but anyway one in four americans 25 uh, percent of the united states identifies themselves as catholic roman catholic wow a lot of people to get their worlds yeah. rocked in, in an institution and i've been talking to a lot of people it's not that surprising though is it i mean no, it's not. The, the, the man down in the church who wears a black dress who has been known to be um abusing children and the rest of his crew uh turns out that they're not who they're saying they are and they're not of god like they're saying they are i mean right. shocker right right Right. It's like where attention goes, energy, energy flows. flows. That's it. All and right. all, all right. these pastors and 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 celebrities and whatever the fuck, anybody who gets attention is is taking on that energy, you know, that loving energy that people are sending them. So yes. they're walking around on this high. And they probably start getting like, obviously they they get showered with gifts, right? But the universe probably starts to respond based on our feelings about them, even Mm. though we're not right about them, right? Mm, That's interesting. What they do in the shadows, 
you know, is one thing. There, there was one of the elites who was doing the old uh, revelation of the method with me. And, um, you know, they've been indirectly disclosing to me what they've been doing behind closed doors. Um, and they'll they'll wait till I'm like drunk or we're out somewhere and they'll just slip it in very quickly. And then it's like it's gone. And if you try and get into a, a conversation with them about it, you know, they'll pull away or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. well, um, they 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 knew that this was coming. They knew they knew it was this time. They thought that 2020 is when it was going to proper kick off. Mm. And, you know, from our side, right, about, you know, us stepping forward and speaking yeah. our truth and calling yeah. out everything. But it, it's been 20, 2022 into 2023. And all of us have come out the gate in 2023, yeah. even though it's a fake fucking year, right? Yeah, right. But we've, all, <laughs> we've all come out the gate swinging and speaking our truth you know i talk to a lot of witches online you know white witches now you yeah, know drew yeah, drew yeah, yeah. Yeah. they were the people of god you know they were connected to the universe the salem witch trials i got a download about it yesterday and it was like oh they were burned at the stake right mm. they weren't burned at the stake they were sacrificed to moloch yes yes they were burned they were sacrificed the to moloch sacrifices. so yeah. This, yeah. this cult that that uh, that has made its way into all of our lives now mm. has been building over time, and they've been they've been operating from the shadows. That's what I was trying to say there. Sorry, the, the what no, we do yeah. in the shadow. Yeah, there's a TV show called What We Do in the Shadows, mm. and it's about uh, it's a comedy. Of course, it is because that's how they get you to uh, go into whatever state you go into, so you can download this information. Um, it's 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 kind of based off the Adams family and it's about witches and warlocks and, and energy vampires and actual vampires and he fucking showed this to me and I've mentioned them before but he showed this to me you know he's in the room watching it. I'm on my phone or whatever but he's trying to get me to watch it and I remember another time I was in a taxi with him before he showed me that actually and um, he said that he had eaten human flesh before mm. this was all in and around the same time i was in iceland at the time and um no i was in london for a funeral but i was back and forth from iceland and he said that uh he had human flesh before and i was like what i was like where where did you get it from and he said uh, i don't know where they got it from and i said where what are you talking about man? and he says oh, i was at a restaurant and i was like what Anyway, the two of us started to get into an argument about it. And then we were actually in the taxi and the taxi was pulling over and there were some girls with us and everybody got, you know, involved and whatever. And I forgot about it because I was drunk. But when I woke up the next morning, it was the first thing I thought about, you know, and then he vanished. He fucked off to America or whatever. So I never got to talk to him about it. And then I started to see more stuff and gather up more stuff. But um, I believe that some of that is going on in America, like yeah. in, in yeah. In you know restaurants from well, all you over, can, you can um the thirty three club in Disneyland. Yeah, or you can just Google that human meat in McDonald's food. There's yeah. they they shut down some meat processing plants for McDonald's. I mean, the the clown with the red around its mouth, like the red shoes, and it's like yeah. they're telling us straight up what's going on. Yeah. Uh, it's it's so dark. What's crazy is. I, I, as dark as they are, we are equally and more powerfully bright light. Like that's the crazy thing that the universe will balance itself out and yeah. we are that bright. That's yeah. the cool thing is, uh, but also it has been dark and these people have been working and operating and, and I'm watching this guy right now. I got to send you his stuff, bro. It's it's uh it's really resonating with me. It's a guy called the West Coast Wizard. All right. And it's beautiful stuff, bro. He's teaching good stuff. He's talking that we're all spelling. All of us are spell casting every all day, every day. All day. When we speak everything you everything you do everything. is a ritual. Yes. Everything. Everything. And so I mean, he's talking about some beautiful stuff. Like one of the things was um God's economy is a pay it forward economy. And I was like, 
that he goes, doesn't you can have a lot, you can have a little, but you live in this place of everyone loving one another. And I was like, man, that's a beautiful place. Like the billionaire, quote unquote, in the world of God's economy, he says, the next five days, everything at this grocery store is on me. Here's fifty thousand dollars, which is nothing to them, right? Here's a hundred thousand dollars. Here's five hundred thousand dollars. Like pay it forward. The person that receives that blessing has five dollars and goes buy a cup of coffee for some. Just everything is paying it forward. This guy has been having me think like that's a beautiful way to do. It. No governments involved. No, yeah. no legislation forcing. No fiat currency. No central bankers. No any of this bullshit. And I was like, that's beautiful. But then when I pull back and I look around, like, well, we are really far from that right now. Seems like well, it would seem it would seem that way. I'm getting downloads that are uh, that are blowing my mind at the moment about you know where we're going and and what my position is and what I need to do. Mm. And uh, I've got quite a big plan, and I'm in a position of absolute power right now. Mm. You know, absolute because I've already taken out. Disney spiritually Mm. I took him out with the magic that he sent on me I sent that back to him years later after I had walked around with that cross dragging up the hill and all the shit that I went through and uh, he ain't gonna survive that you know physically he's not gonna survive that and he's already taken out um, spiritually and he's not the only elite that I've taken out spiritually but what they didn't want me to ever find was spirituality on a divination scale Mm -hmm. and they never wanted me to find ayahuasca or dmt right you know they never wanted me to activate my third eye because they that well set had taken my third eye for me Mm -hmm. and he left me blind so um as soon as i reactivated my third eye and i start going to ayahuasca retreats they start scabbering man like like i was watching it in real time this is years ago yeah. They start scabbering. They start freaking out. Mm. And um, and then when I came home from Iceland and I start, you know, doing the marches in London and taking down the signs and going against um, what they were trying to manifest, you know, they were trying to use my energy to manifest that and keep me in Iceland away from what they were pulling off, you know, in, in the Western world. What we know is the Western world, which is... Right is the colonies of the fucking the the um the vikings and the romans yeah. you know and like so people need to know to to undo this very simply we need to go back through our history yeah. and you need to wonder to yourself well how am i in america if i'm white and this is american indian land we've got these big cities we've got hollywood and we've got all this shit going on how how did this come to pass? And how is it called New York and New England and all these other English names? Well, not English, they're British names because mm-hmm. the English is made up as well. Mm-hmm. But the truth is, is that the Vikings invaded Ireland. I sound like a broken record. I know with this stuff, but yeah. it's the truth. Yeah, yeah. And how I know is because they're the ones that have attacked me. They, they fucking led me to the door of everything. And they had to tell me what they were doing. And they were dropping in bits and pieces of um, of knowledge on me that I wasn't aware of. Like, I, I didn't know that the Vikings invaded Ireland. And I was out hanging out with them, and I didn't know. But when I was a child, I was told that the, the Normans invaded. And when the Normans invaded, they took down our monarchy. And my family were the high kings of Ireland. And, mm. we, and we were global. But... Um, I, I went on a mission from childhood, from losing my dad and knowing that my dad was taken out. We were told he had a heart attack and died. Be the case, but he was only 40. And that was down to witchcraft because soon as I hit in and around that age, you know, I started becoming way more spiritually stronger and I started to really realize my gifts and, and, and the impact that I have on the world. Mm. And I've read about this that really take off in your spiritual spiritual journey when you're like between 38 and 45, yeah. you know, because you're able to look back in your life and see what you've manifested. Mm. But um, they they took out our monarchy and, and I went on a mission from childhood after losing my dad and knowing that there was a lot of buzz going on when my dad was around 
and he was quite a big businessman in our area. And when he died, something left, something changed. Our whole town changed, our family changed, other people we knew changed. And I knew there was more to it. So I went on a mission to reestablish our monarchy and take back what was ours, which is the crown of the United Kingdom. Mm. That, that legitimately belongs to my family. And mm. I have plans to take that back. And with that, I'm able to uh, release the world of the, de the debt that, that it's in. I can just write all that debt off because that all goes back to the Queen and the Vatican. And I'm also being told with my downloads, with my guides and ancestors, and they show me how to do it, that I'm to start a currency and I've to give the currency away to everybody. It's free. You can have it. And all you got to do is start using it and it's worth something. And it's based off of karma, not gold. It's mm -hmm. based off of karma. We're going to call it the, the Celtic karma currency. Wow. The Celtic karma coin, right? This is what they're telling me, right? They said it's already mapped out. All I got to do is go and do it. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we encourage that people not use the currency and barter and, and work together as much as possible yeah. but where money might need to change hands because you need to go and buy something then then that's where the currency comes in and everybody will get enough mm -hmm. that you know they'll they'll be comfortable and obviously i'd be able to write off i'd be able to cancel every lease every rental agreement every sale and the, the land can go back to the people and we can all just travel again. We don't have to stay in one spot. Yeah. We can, we, that's what the Druids did. They followed the sun. You know, everybody's saying now, oh, these are the cult of the sun and they're this, that, and the other. Well, that, that, that's all stolen. They're just using knowledge that was taken from the Emerald Isle and right. the Emerald Tablets that were taken and mm. the Ark of the Covenant. That, that was all Irish, man. Mm. All comes from the Hill of Tara. And we were God's children on earth, God's kingdom that went around the world, spreading love, light, knowledge, um, music, science, uh, Christianity, real Christianity, though, yeah. right? Not, yeah. not this Christianity. Right. This Christianity, from what I'm gathering, the Vikings used to come and visit Ireland and they were friendly in the beginning and then they started moving in and then they started to really start to take over and then they put us in a position where we couldn't fight back and then they just just took off from there. And right. they're, they, they are a psychedelic cult. Now, I'm not attacking all Vikings, right? Because a lot of Vikings or people of Viking lineage were also slaves. They're yeah. Irish. They were taken from here. And bread went up there. So I'm not attacking them. Who I am attacking is the Viking elites mm. who took over and kept and held on to the knowledge that was stolen in the Viking raids. Mm. And the, the Romans, the same thing. They morphed into the Romans. But I'm, I'm not going after Vikings. I've got a lot of Viking friends and I fucking love them dearly. I really yeah. do. And people yeah. were amazing to me in Iceland. You know, I've been to Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark. I've been to all these countries and I've always had a massive reception from people there. But mm. it's the people at the top of the ladder right. or the top of their pyramid who are using the sacred ancient knowledge to keep them enslaved, to keep us enslaved. And all of that goes back to Egypt and yeah. the Irish are the Egyptians. You know, and I've got a strong lineage of uh, Irish, Egyptian, Celtic uh, um, culture that that I was a part of and that my family was a part of. But we all forgot about it now because of the fucking news and the movies and, mm. you know, the phones and everything else, the computers and the jobs and the money that's come with it now in the last, what, 30, 40 years. Mm. But we were highly advanced even 200 years ago. This has been a slow moving machine just running us over and scattering us across the planet. Right. You know, anyway, sorry, I'm on a rant now. No, it's good. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, yeah, the white, it's unfortunate that we have to qualify it by color, but we do. You and I know we're spirits, right? Yeah. We're not the yeah. body. But right. not everybody who's watching this right now has come around to that. They don't right. realize that they are the God that they need. They yeah. are. And 
they need to realize that they're not the body, they're the spirit. And they're also haven't been here 40 years or whatever. They've been here since they woke up this morning because every night when you fall asleep, you yeah. live, you That's transcend right. this experience, That's you right. live, but you're on contract to stay here to help clean out this realm, this secret garden that we're in. It's mm. just another realm of existence. And it was the Garden of Eden, and it was a beautiful place for us to visit. And then yeah. we got locked into it, right? Yeah. And yeah. filled full of illusions from outside consciousnesses that possessed the bodies of men who were here. Yeah, yeah. It's... uh. It's such an amazing time. You know, I listen to your interviews. The thing that I want to share this, the, the Bible is such a fascinating thing. And I, people that watch us and I listen to what you're, you know, I know the, the old historic Bible that you had access to. And, um, and people that listen to these podcasts, they'll often attack the Bible. And I reference the Bible, I reference the Bible a lot, but what people don't understand is the very first king, the, the very first Protestant king, the one to stand against the Romans was James. And he and they tried to kill him twice. And he could only give access. And I want to talk about the Bible for a sec because you said that they tell us, they do tell us, they have to put it out there. So the Bible now that we have access to 66 books, six times 11, 11 is judgment, six is man. So the judgment on mankind is what this book is. It's a judgment on us. It's not to liberate us. It's a actually condemn us book. And yet they have to put the truth in it. So you're talking about the garden and the King James Bible, which was never called the King James Bible and was, and why they couldn't. And I just have to say this to everyone because I feel like, if we're going to say things about the Bible, James, the very first Protestant king, true Protestant king, not the Church of England, true protesting the Jesuit order and the Roman rule on this earth, said out loud that he was going to bring this book to the fifth grade reading level. So no longer the Latin or the Bibles were going to be chained to the pulpits and only the elite and like you said, black dresses could tell you what it said. He wanted everyone to read it for themselves. And the reason why he included the Apocrypha with the original is because, and why there weren't, they had access to more books, but what they could not do, and what I do appreciate the, the literalness of the Bible at that time, they only included the books that they had every verse intact that they could print. So like the Book of Enoch, they had it, but Book of Enoch still to this day is missing big chunks. So they couldn't print it. They, did, they printed everything they had the, the beginning in. Anyway, now I'm going on a tangent. The, we're talking about the Garden of Eden. And we are going back to the garden, the earth, whatever realm, dimension, like Terra that we will experience. We're going back to the garden. And in the garden. Tara. It's called Tara. Tara. God asked three questions. Where are you? He wanted us to say to him. Yeah, I'm here. Like he wanted this, that this relationship between spirit, you just said we're spirit. We are spirit and God is a spirit and God, God is spirit. So our spirit is part of the spirit and we're all one in the spirit. So the creator spirit, the one infinite spirit says, where are you little spirit? And he wants us to say to him, here am I, here I am. I am here. And so God asked my Adam, mighty, I am presence. I am present, bringing back the I am exactly right. And what does Adam do? Adam says, I heard your voice and I was afraid because I was naked. So God asked the second question, who told you that you were naked? And then he asked the third question right after that. Did you eat of the tree where have I commanded you not to eat of? So God asked three questions. Where are you? He wants us to say, here I am. Here I am. Like, there's so much power in that. Number two, are you listening to a voice that is not my own? Are you listening to the false church that condemns you and makes you feel like a, a, a horrible, broken, evil, vile creature when I gave you this whole earth to have dominion over and, and subdue that which is wild? Are you listening to the serpents? Are you listening to this? Are you li Whose voice are you listening to? Who told you you were naked? And 
Did you do something I said not to do? And I really believe, brother, and I support you in what you're doing. Like, like even whether you want to talk about like what the plans are, I know what where you're going. And I love it and I support it. When we can come back to this place of humility and be like, all God was looking for is, is Adam and Eve to say, yeah, I did. I tried it. And what a mess. You are right. <laughs> like, you know, I partied it. I've done all the parties. We've done whatever the storyline is of this thing, just to come back to this hum humble place and say, you were right. Only in your love, only in light, only in goodness, only in truth, beauty, and creation in the garden can I fully be in alignment to what I'm here to be. And I'm sharing this only to say, with all the dark consciousness that is out there, with all these elites that are just losers, like I look at them like, you know, I've been around the billionaire. You like, I look like, who cares? So stupid, so small, so small. And yet they're playing the, the ruling class game right now. And all the rest of us are in this like rising game. But what's beautiful. But it's our fault for watching them. Like it's it's like <clears throat> it's our fault for falling into the traps, the attention traps. Yeah, we you know like people, people yeah. still watching stuff to do with, let's say, Elon Musk or Kanye. Like you already know they're full of shit. You already know they're literally trying to get your attention. Hey, look over here! Whoa, oh, don't look there! And yet people still watch it and people still, people who say that they're truthers or they're seekers of the divine mm -hmm. are still sharing that. And they're still talking about that with people. They're still entertaining it. Yeah. And only when we literally phase them out of view, will we be able to see what's right in front of us, mm -hmm. what we have here. Yeah. You know, when we stop watching the news, when we stop listening to people who are saying that they're an authority over us. Right. You know, they are only an authority over you when you say that you understand that they're an authority over you because you're standing under them. Right. Mm. But apart from that, they can't touch you. You're in, in a bubble of protection by God. That's right. And, you know, this stuff with, with the children under the Getty and the stuff that Stephen Kelly told me, you know, everybody's just taking God out of the equation and that God is not dealing with it, you know, and that we have to do, we have to go to war, you know, we need to get guns, you know, and, and all that will do is explode us into a, a new massive war where yep. most of the people here are going to get wiped out, Yes, which is fine when you die, because when you die, you're actually out of misery because you're out of the game. But you'll be put through a lot of unnecessary torture yeah. because of that. When all you have to do right now is stand in your sovereignty, turn the fucking TV off, yeah. ignore men in fucking dresses, you know, because they're everywhere. It's not this drag thing ain't new. Right. We've had the drag thing for a long time with judges. And fucking and and priests, they're in drag. They told us that uh, Shakespeare times, they the men played the women, right? They told us that. This is what we grew up like. Yeah. Oh, I guess women. I mean, it's sick. It's sick. Yeah. You would wonder, do they do also to stay invisible to tower card readings? Hmm. You know, oh, I got a male energy here, blah, 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 female energy, whatever. And I don't know. But there's a divination reason for it behind it. It is an inversion of God, but there's more There's more to it. You know, I, there's you more know, to it. The magicians, which we all are, like I was telling something the other day, I really believe where we're entering and I can feel it right now. It's like when we rise, like stand up and rocks come off the ground with our hand, like all of a sudden like things start moving and like i really believe that and you know you shared that video about and mel gibson discloses the truth and in, in braveheart that one line he's like that we're not allowed to fight with weapons we have to fight with stone and stone is the harmonic frequency of the i mean it's mm -hmm. amazing but where we're going it's literally the magic realm and mm -hmm. and you know i really believe that my belief is that the infinite 
and I don't even know, I don't even like these words anymore, but God, the God of love, the God of light, the truth, beauty, the infinite creator above all, the most high, whatever that means is love and allows all this to be for us to rise into the power that we are because we we're made in that image. And just as the three magi go pre at three years after Jesus is born, go and give him gifts. Every nativity scene, we see it all over the world, even though he didn't come. The magi were druids, you know that, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And, and <laughs> they, this is the biblical lens. But the magi are basically the magicians are the symbol that the Christ is about to enter the scene. And the brilliance of Donald Trump as a servant of a tool of, I, it's not about him as a man, but he had the whole world chanting mega. It is so, you see this mega, the, when the mega come, the magicians, it precedes the era of the Christ consciousness at Christ time. I don't believe any of this is accidental. I think this is what's so cool is humans intentionally or unintentionally are waking up to the divine slowly. And if mm. we woke up too quickly to it, and I know your view of Donald Trump, I'm just not pro Donald Trump, but he did get everyone chanting mega and not even knowing what mega meant. Mega's magician. But you know what? His lineage is back to Ireland. You know, yeah, that, Scottish. Right? Yeah. The Irish, yeah. Or Scottish in Ireland. And he, he owns a golf course here and a few other properties here. Well, he used to own them anyway. He doesn't own them anymore. But right. he, um, he spends a lot of time here as well. And they're they're all into Kabbalah as well. They're wearing the red strings. Yeah, yeah. And then I don't know if you saw my interview with, with Nicholas Van Yaman the other day. Um, I had a great interview with him. I really enjoyed it, actually. Yeah, I watched um, it. Good. Yeah, but, but um, I was researching Eileen Getty last week. And um, I was talking about um, an experience I had where I went over to, to our house and she said that uh, she was, oh, she was irate, you know, and her her manager, the George John was there. And George John was like, Trevor, oh, come in, come in. Now, they had just let me in the gate, in the electric gate, right? So they knew I was coming in. And then when I get there, he's like, oh, Trevor, you're here, come in. So I went into the kitchen and she's irate. And she says, uh, this can't happen, this can't happen. And I was like, what? And she says, they, they, they want to tear down the Hollywood sign. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, they've sold the land to a developer. And the developer is going to demolish the sign and put houses there. And I remember thinking to myself at the time, there's no way Hollywood, the, 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 the studios, the governor, the fucking, the council, I, the, the mayor is going to let the biggest attraction get taken, right? So right. it was a red flag. And then she was like, I need 35 or 55 million or something like that to, um, to, to buy it. And then she said to me, do you know anybody that would invest? And I remember going like that. And going, I don't know. I said, let me talk to some people because obviously I was balls deep with the elites around that time, right? I was speaking to them all in the daytime. I, you know, in the daytime, I could be speaking to multiple ones or meeting up with multiple ones from dinner or lunch or whatever. And um, so she knew I was around people with money anyway. But I don't think that's really what she was doing. I think there's, there's a coincidence, uh, a, a lot of coincidences happening with me where a lot of these elites who I've tracked to everything that's happening with the agenda, with the, with the vaccine, with everything else, who have been asking me for money. Mm. They come to me and they ask me for 30 million, 100 million, 50 million, blah, blah, blah. And they give me a bullshit, um, a bullshit um, story. And then anytime I talk to them about it afterwards, they say, oh, no, no it's, it's done. We got it. No problem. I feel like they have, with the placenta that they took from us at, on our birthday, that is attached to our birth certificate, which is fraud. They use that placenta to cast spells on, and they have a piece of us because of that. Mm -hmm. And I believe that they use that to access my Vatican account because the bankers know that they can't charge us interest on anything and that the interest that they have been charging is going to have to be paid back. Mm -hmm. So... I think it's all linked together with our Vatican accounts. And I've had a lot of different elites from all over the world 
who've who've come at me with stuff like that and then you know they love bomb you then they push you away after they get what they were after but they're yeah, they're yeah. doing dark witchcraft is what they're doing yes yes well anyway sorry sorry i'm rambling sorry i'm a bit tired i always get tired during these interviews because they start hitting me with energy um the hollywood sign is crucial to the whole thing because hollywood is where they put out the propaganda mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. the hollywood was what the druids ones were made of mm. then the, she ended up buying the hollywood sign and the hill and the mountain and leading up to it she named the road up to it eileen getty drive or crest crescent or crest or something like that right and it has i was looking at it on google it has in brackets eileen getty drive wisdom tree mm. the wisdom tree the tree of life and they're infecting the tree of life from Hollywood in California, which I've heard is Egypt, which mm. I'm, I think I believe it. Mm. Egypt doesn't have to be Egypt over there. That could be somewhere else mm. because I know Ireland's being renamed, right? Ireland is called Irie Land right now, but it, it's only being called Irie Land 100 years or something like that before it was there. And, you know, it's had a, a bunch of different names. Mm -hmm. But it is the Emerald Isle, where the emeralds came from and where the emerald tablets are from. Mm -hmm. Then, right, so that's Eileen Getty, right? Sorry, I'm always with the conspiracy stuff, but I'm, I'm piecing it all together, so I have to, yeah. you know, yeah. put it out there. Yeah. Disneyland and Disney World are built on top of portals. Mm -hmm. They're built on top of inner earth portals. And they're energy ley lines, much like... All of the army bases, navy bases are all on energy ley lines, all on entrances to the inner earth. Now, Stephen D. Kelly, when I was doing my interviews with him, he's telling me that the child sacrificing is going on down there and stuff like that, and children in cages. And I do believe it to a certain extent. But I know for a fact that inner earth is of a higher vibration. Yeah. And the, the Mayans disappeared into inner earth and they're still there. The Mayans that went missing. They were probably chased away by this um, Roman cult that took our knowledge and, and took the world over with it. The world as we know it, right? We get to see the world with the UN logo. It doesn't look like the world and it's got a fucking target over it. Mm. And, you know, it's a target around it. And I believe that they're the lands that they are holding on to. And I believe that there's other lands across the Antarctic ice wall, which is not far from me here in Ireland and Iceland. And when I was in Iceland, obviously I'm highly intuitive, right? I'm, I'm obviously walking with spirit and I'm source driven. And um, they were telling me to go to Greenland. And I was in a position up there where I could have got on a boat or taken a boat and, and gone to Greenland. And um, it never happened. But Black Rock, the company that's currently trying to take over the world, is uh, that black rock is up up outside Iceland. It's not far from Iceland. It could be the Westman Islands as well, where I've also driven to. I drove one of the elites. He asked me to take him from Reykjavik to uh, the Westman Islands. So I drove him up the west coast of uh, the black west coast of Iceland to the ferry port. And I dropped him off there. He got on the ferry, went across. And then I picked him up then a few days later and he told me he was over there in orgies and all this shit. And uh, I have a feeling there was some dark stuff going on, you know. <laughs> they say all of this stuff so nonchalant, like just in passing, like, you know, about orgies and about things like that, you know. And and, and they, they quickly transition to something else, yeah. you know. They're masters of Hegelian dialect. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yes. And they're drinking blood, so they're obviously seeing more of what's around us because they've got that psychedelic uh, yeah. high from the blood that they're drinking. You know, I've only realized all this after the fact, obviously, after the fact of watching Outer Shadows and Fall of the Cabal and after the fact of them all disappearing soon as all of that started and I was home here fighting against the, the, the agenda, right? That's when they pulled back. But that's also when I found magic and I started returning the magic that they had sent to me. And that's when they started to get completely taken out. Then the agenda just lost wheels. Then it lost its power because mm -hmm. they weren't able to prop it up with the magic. 
So nice. they're fucking done now, man. They're done. They're completely done. They've been done for a while. But what we're seeing right now is their puppets still out there trying to keep going because if they don't, they're fucking dead. Yeah. Which yeah. they are anyway. Yeah. But, um, you know, yeah, the, the whole thing is just, you know, it's like an automated machine right now. It's called the autocratic, technocratic, whatever the fuck it was. And it's basically a video that's playing for us and we're all looking at the video but they've already made their escape yeah. like in scooby doo you know yeah fooling yeah. us and and that's why i'm saying people still watching the news still watching the conspiracy stuff are feeding into that and bringing that about in their reality their magical reality that they're mm -hmm. stepping into right now right. realizing right. that they're a god that right. they're generating the illusion that they live in so, so we're all splitting off onto different timelines. Yeah. And Nick, who works for Set or could be Set, uh, uh, Nick Disney, uh, he is creating an illusion, soul trap for people to fall into with negative vibes who are, you know, cursing, at, you know, um, cursing politicians or actors and actresses who are just puppets. Yeah, you know when when the likes of Nick and the Gettys and whoever else are behind the scenes making their escape, they're taking the brunt of all of that karma. Mm. You know, and 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 the elites, you know, obviously they've told me about their underground bunkers, and I've saw some stuff back way way fifteen years ago. I saw that, but they uh, I've never been in one, but I've heard them talk about them that they were buying missile silos to turn into apartments. Uh, we've seen the videos on YouTube of people buying them as well, you know, but right. the only reason they're buying them is because they knew that we were going to find out what they fucking have done right. and that we were going to find out we're not human. We're gods. You're only a human when you're offline with source and you don't know who you are and you can't see the magic that you're creating every day mm. or you're not, you're not creating enough magic to see it. Yeah. You know, with my life and everything that I've done and the, the, the massive businesses that I've built across the world, including West Coast Customs and Pimp My Ride, I was pinnacle on all of that happening. Yeah. If I had never walked through the doors of West Coast Customs, that would not have happened. Mm. And there's many other businesses that I've been a part of where things like that happen. But one of the businesses, the last businesses that I was involved in, one was Disney. And Fast Factory, where I was was uh, customizing supercars for for rallies that we were doing in supercars and hypercars across the world. And when I decided to to close that, when Disney started to pull away, he said to me, "Are you going to keep going with the business?" And I said, "No, I'm going to close it." And he couldn't believe I was going to close it. But I jumped straight onto my spiritual path off that. Anyway, there was another company that I was in talks with who makes the parts for McLaren, the supercar McLaren. Mm -hmm. And they wanted me to come in and run their special operations department and make one-off cars. And um, I was in talks with them. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, I was far down the road of that. I actually sent a bunch of equipment there, a massive spray booth and a bunch of other stuff. So it was happening. Then all of a sudden, one of the dark occultists uh, connected to the Icelandics kind of pushed his way in with the other guy that I was partner up with and uh, he kind of pushed me out, which I'm thankful for because it sent me onto the ayahuasca road, but he pushed me out. Then they changed the name of the company from URT Composites to Supernatural. They called it Supernatural. A car that made a, tr a, a business that makes car parts and builds cars being called Supernatural. But mm. they were fully aware of who I was and my supernatural abilities. Mm. So they would use me to charge these manifestations and build these dreams and these companies. And then they would push me out. Mm. And a lot of them knew that they could never employ me because I was divine and from source. I'm not supposed to be working. You know, they're not supposed to be using my uh, my mm. services and abilities to make money off of. Therefore, they just push me out. You know? So, but I'm not going to cry about spilled milk anymore. I'm obviously building something way bigger yeah. and something that they knew I was always going to do, you know? But obviously, I fell asleep. I got caught up in Hollywood just like everybody else did. And I, I charged that, that dream. 
But then as soon as I start pulling away from that dream and pulling away from the celebrities, and they were all surrounding me, right? Mm. Um, that's when Hollywood started to fall apart. And that's when Druidism started to take off. And ayahuasca, after I did it, maybe six months to a year after me doing it, and me out burning the ears off everybody, telling them they needed to do this, mm. all of a sudden that went viral. And we're in a, a new reality now where people are making their way back to the land. They're realizing there's so much magic to be had, even from our plants, yes. and that we're a part of that. And it's all conscious, you know, that the phone we're, we're on is not conscious, no. but, but the land we're standing on is conscious. And yeah. Yeah. every word we speak, every feeling we have is a rippling effect out into the universe and and i've got great favor with the universe as you know right yeah. so i'm here to charge that and 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 bring in that other dream and split those two timelines from are you gonna go with disney into the illusion or are you gonna come back to the land with me and back to god and back to yeah. source and that's right. what i i came here to do to uh -huh. crash the system to crash the, 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 uh, to crash Hollywood, obviously, which I've done, right? Mm -hmm. And crash the Roman Empire and crash right. all of these fake kingdoms across Earth because the star seeds are the true royalty from source sent here to serve everybody else, mm -hmm. not to be served, to That's serve. Right. That's right. The true king served. That's right. That's the right. True kings. Because I'm, I'm, I'm highly spiritually, uh, I'm highly royal. In the spiritual realm, it's only when I step in here and I'm wearing a tracksuit and I'm wearing Air Max and I'm out fucking around with people that I'm in the 3D realm. But outside of that, I'm very, very high regarded and I get an awful lot of help from the spiritual realm. And that's why the elites are afraid of me, yeah. because they could only interact with me when I was interacting with them. But as soon as I started realizing what they were doing, they were like, oh, fuck, he's starting to he's starting to wake up now. And they pulled back and, you know, they're afraid of me. Anytime I'd reach out to them or whatever, you know, they're very standoffish with me and they're very friendly with me. And they're, you know, as far as they're concerned, they have indirectly told me about their empire that they have, you know, been running earth with by showing me things like uh, holding cells for people in their houses and, uh you know, things like that. You don't show people that stuff by accident. You know, that was them telling me very softly what has been going on because they knew later I was going to find out. And then when I found out, they didn't want me to have any comeback because they said they they will say that they've already showed me. Mm. But Disney didn't show me shit. The only thing Disney showed me was when he brought me to the premiere, the Hollywood would premiere of Tron Legacy, the movie, which is about me and my life. And it's about the grid and it's about the ley lines and it's about a battle for control between light and dark. Mm. And obviously Nick was that, you know, that yeah. CIA agent, that that's that agent of Rome, that agent of Satan on Earth. And he but he didn't he was deceptive. He didn't show himself to me, but he, he tried to indirectly tell me over a period of time, you know. But anyway, fuck it. It's done. They're done. We're going back to the land. We're going to build new cities. We're going to take down all these cities that are here because they're built on very sacred land. We're going to find our way back to our sacred wells and the water that's coming from inner earth, mm -hmm. which is called well water because it makes you well. <laughs> so, yeah. everything. if you look at things objectively yeah. rather than subjectively yeah. like oh well that's what it really means it's this that and the other and you know that's where they come in with the dream and the illusion yeah. oh that's not you know, that's not what you're saying right. if you just look at it objectively and you listen to how treat people treat you objectively you will see their intentions that's right that's right you know Anyway, sorry, I'm banging on. No, oh, brother, it's good. It's um, it's good. It's beautiful. Um, I think people are are ready for it now, though. I'm ready for it now. I mean, I think we're weeks away, days away from the the bursting forth of of all this. And I, I've been telling. So I think we're in a different time, a timeline. I mean, don't mean timelines. I mean. I don't think it is your, you, you, and I said, 
it's not year 2023. What year is it? We don't know what year it is, but we know it's not this. But I think actually we are at the very end of the book of Revelation, that the millennial reign has already happened, that Tartaria- Seven years, right? That's seven years. Well, that started in 2016 or 17. Seven, 17. Uh, 17. 17. But, but check this. So the the eschatological or the eschatology um timeline of Christianity says they're waiting for the Antichrist to come and then it's gonna be a millennial reign of Christ. I'm like Jesus is coming to re- reign and rule with sonic drive-ins and ugly strip malls. Like, I don't think so. This is not the earth he's coming to. He's already been here. I think Tartaria was the thousand year millennial reign of Christ. And then the parasites, the Romans came and eviscerated everything, allowed to, allowed to. God allows all this to happen so that the most powerful. Because we allow it. That's why. Because we're here. That's right. if If we fall from from grace being a higher level of consciousness which we have done then yes. that's the karma that comes with it but game of thrones is where they showed us the way they went about it they 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 instigated in the shadows and they undermined the 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 monarchies that were here to uphold the laws of god and not in a forceful way just to make sure that everybody had what they needed so yeah. they did not fall in consciousness right you know, right. moving forward, we're going to be in a higher level of consciousness. Obviously, you and I know from doing ayahuasca and DMT mm-hmm. what's available to us yep. through consciousness and, yeah. and with oh, yeah. free our money. Oh, yeah. And with that, we're going to realize and, and rediscover our magic, but we're still going to have mystery schools. We're going to have healing centers. Yes. We're still going to have an amazing time way better than anybody could even fathom because once you get in a higher timeline you're not looking for physical items to pacify yeah. you to hide your fucking trauma yeah you know the right. only reason people are the way they are right now and cut off is because there's a deep level of trauma in them that needs to be addressed and mm-hmm. you have incarnated in here on this timeline and taken on that role to be the kings and queens of your lineage if you're mm-hmm. here today then you were picked yeah. as the highest regarded souls in your lineage, even yeah. though we're all family, right? But we have to reverse engineer everything now. Yeah, that's right. So so anybody who doesn't feel like they're enough, they're fucking enough. They're royals. In the right. spiritual realm, they're royals. And our spirit families and guides and everything, we've all got different ones who are helping us from the past to unravel the lies and unravel the trauma. They're right. all here with us every day, giving us information. And we, we doubt that information because fucking Elon Musk is saying something or Kanye is saying something right. or right. Hillary fucking Clinton or whoever, you know, the yeah. TV. Right, right, right. You know, they're pulling us away and we keep falling into it by... We want to look, you know, the fight or flight makes you want to look for the holes and things so you don't get burned, right? Mm-hmm. And so so no matter what, they know all they have to do is put a little car crash up there and yeah. that will pull people away from grace and from love and from everything because their body will get scared. Right, right. And the food, the food is feeding the parasites that are in our bodies that are keeping us in fight or flight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we have a lot of stuff we have a lot of stuff to untie and, and unbind ourselves from. And once we do that, we're not going to care about anything because we're going to realize that we're all from source. Yeah, Everybody came from the same place. Yeah. We're all going back there. Some have made bigger mistakes than others, but they're going to have to carry that. They're going to have to carry the karma of that. And that we don't have to try and inflict that on them and say, oh, we're going to kill them. We're going to hang them. We're going to shoot them. Right. We're going to whatever. Right. Right. Because God and themselves are going to judge them. They're going to judge themselves. Right. And they've been on drugs. They've been drinking blood. They've been doing terrible things. And once that blood starts to wear off and the drugs start to wear off, all they're left with is themselves and right. the memories of the past and the, and the the things that they inflicted on other people and the other people aren't going to forget about it either because they're right. going to give them a wide berth, right? So they're going to be alone. They're going to be shunned. Right. Mm. Dude, it's, uh, it's exciting. The new earth, you know, the end of what well, I was going to say, the end of revelation ends in the garden. 
and there's a new heaven and a new earth that's coming And heaven. I think I've talked to you about this, but heaven's a conjunction word of heart and even H E A heart H E A even E V E N heaven, a balanced heart, a heart peace in the heart. Where does God dwell in your heart? Where are you supposed to ask Jesus in your heart? When our hearts are in balance and peace, we will see the new earth like never before. I think, I don't know if we wake up in a new realm. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't think we like, already the, have, right. We, we're already in new earth. I can confirm that. Right. We've already, the timelines have shifted, you know, we're multi-dimensional beings and we yeah. don't always wake up in the same world that we fell asleep in. Right. And that, that's yeah. a fact. Right. Yeah. And the dark timeline they're already on that. The people who went with it, mm. they're already on that. That's playing out somewhere else. Yeah. We're in new earth right now. So mm. it's up to us now to get out from behind the screens and start cleaning up our yeah. communities. And through doing that, and re- it doesn't need to be, you don't have to make a big plan. You don't have to feel like you, you've got to do a certain thing. All you have to do is just take that first step out there and be present in your community. Yeah. And the rest will form. Getting out and talking to people and just like apologizing for, for wrongs that we've done. I've done a load myself, but mm. people didn't realize what I was going through and the mission that I was on here. So they never knew when I might be snapping at them or whatever, what was going on in the background, but I could never tell them because they never understand, understand or see right, it. They right. had to see it play out in the world. But right. anyway, once we step out in another thing I'm being told to do is as well, is that I'm going to set up community centers all across the earth, which will be a place where you can go and eat food 24 hours a day, all alive food vegetarian food from the earth and there will be a place for you to stay there people for you to meet it could be somewhere to go and speak to somebody if you feel like you need a bit of healing but also if you've nowhere to go we'll have places where people can stay or you've got nowhere to live we'll find you a house we'll build you a house we need to come back as not a human family as a creator god family that and Mm. and realize that we are all creator gods that we are here together to create, Mm. not to destroy, to create and to clean up. And once we come around to that, we're straight into liberation. Imagine finding out you're a God, you're infinite. This isn't it. This is just your body. Your name is a serial number. It's it's a registered serial number Mm. with the fucking Vatican and the crown. You know, once we get past all of that and get past the legalese that has been inflicted on us, and get out of that mindset and get into service to other people will feel amazing. Yeah. And, and there'll always be somebody there for us. Mm. And when we link up with people again, with our childlike mind, like when we were doing bonfires and stuff, when we were kids, yeah. we didn't say, oh, well, I need to get paid for it. Or, you know, I'm not lifting that all across there. We just got out, we did it. And we had a ball doing it, you know? So, we need to block out all the mad bastards who have done their best to draw a wedge between us mm. so their lies could never be discovered. Mm. And we need to step into the wrongs that we've done. We need to accept them. We need to move past them and look at the possibilities. Mm. We're in a Wonka factory. You know yeah. what I mean? We're in the Wonka factory. Yeah. We've all had the golden tickets, every last one of us. And it doesn't matter how asleep somebody is, even though it's quite annoying right now to speak to somebody who can't see what's happening in the world. But yeah. if they're with us on this timeline right now, that means they were chosen by God. And it's not your decision to shun them. It's your it's it's your prerogative to wait for them to get their aha moment and realize who the fuck they are. And then you've gained another ally. Mm. It is beautiful. It's beautiful, brother. Yeah. It's beautiful. I um I'm thankful for you. It's Thank cool you. to see and feel your energy moving. We're um, we're moving in that. We're moving in it. Yeah. Well, I anchored that in that energy we we're talking about. I anchored that in in September of uh, 2021. Mm. So that got properly anchored in, and there was there was there was no um, back and forth. There was no one foot in, one foot out. So yeah. that was anchored in in 2021 in September, which mm. is the which is the month I was born. Beautiful. 
you're, you're September. I'm a September birth as well. Are you Virgo? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. September seventh. September. I'm 7th. September. September third. Third nine three. Three nine eighty. Yeah, dude, that's amazing. Uh, amazing, brother. I love you and love you thank, too, man. thank you. Thank you. You're holding down the fort for me in America. If I was in America right now, I'd be doing exactly what you were doing. And right. I have a massive, massive presence, obviously, that I had that I held in LA because of all the myst mystic uh, uh, stories about me out there. But I, I have, I, I have my heart is still in in the city of Lost Angels, and I mm. went there to destroy that that system and mm. i dropped all my seeds when i went there i did everything i was supposed to do and then i left and i was sent back obviously i didn't want to leave there but the universe sent me back to ireland in the uk yeah. and yeah. at the time i didn't see why and then i've just been working over here now and tearing it down over here and it's, it's all coming together you know and yeah once again like i said i'm in service man i'm in service and i'm doing my best to stay out of the current system because if i even use their money or i i feed into that then i'm actually i'm i'm keeping it alive so that's mm. why i've been keeping myself in hermit mode focusing on building the new timeline and and guiding people to that timeline and and that's all happening now with flying colors so i actually feel accomplished where i always feel like i'm never doing enough but I feel I'm starting to feel accomplished now. I'm starting to see the dent that I've had and what I've built, and you know, I'm 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 excited to come out of hibernation and come out of hermit mode because yeah. it's, it's addictive as well. I've yeah. been in it. I've been in it for a long time, and any time I go to a city or anything like that, that now, when I come out, I'm like walking around like. Like it's like a ghost town. This is fucking freaky, you know. <laughs> so I just like go to the store, I get what I need to get, and I leave, you know. And while I'm at it, um, I actually had I did a podcast the other day with, with Nicholas Binyamin, and um, I I at the end of it, um, I asked, you know, if people could find it in their hearts to maybe send me something on PayPal, that you know they don't realize that I have to stay out of the system. I can't not able to it's it's detrimental for everybody if i interact with it if i go into business if i use their money if i do anything but what i can do is receive donations from people who can see that i'm here working for them yeah. and i've spent already i've spent hundreds of thousands of pounds to keep myself going after i split away from disney i kept all that money i used that money to to keep myself going, feed myself, and also investigate them and, and deconstruct everything that they were doing. But that money ran out a long time ago, and I haven't had anything since, while everybody was still in that system. So I've been waiting for people to you know pull away from that system so I can start mine so we can all move forward with that. But for now, I'm, I'm still a little bit held to ransom because I can't go to the shop and get anything. So right. if anybody could find it in their hearts right now to send me something on PayPal, I genuinely need it. I still need to pay rent because people still are paying their taxes and paying their landlords and things like that. And I will come in fast and full force when all of that falls. And that's what I'm waiting for. When yeah. that falls, that's when I start. So mm. if anybody could, yeah. I, yeah. I would really appreciate it. I, we'll link, we'll link uh, my yeah. my podcast or my PayPal below. And also, while I'm on this, um, while I'm on this little turret, uh, you can uh, add me on Instagram, ejecting the underscore the underscore elites or AKA underscore Trev underscore K uh, underscore one one one. And you can find other links to my podcast with uh, Lucas and with um, Nicholas Benyamin with Book of Jonah, Jonah Rogers. I did a three hour fire episode with him. Wow. That's on Instagram. I can't get it off Instagram because we did a live with that. I really go into mm. and um, and also as uh, ex CIA NSA contractor Stephen D. Kelly. They're all on my Telegram channel um, and the link for my Telegram channel is in my bio. Hmm. I'll put all that brother, all those links in the show notes and, um, love you brother.
Love you. I love you, man. And thank you. It's amazing to be on this journey with you, and it's amazing to. <laughs> amazing I can't to wait to meet, bro. Like when we meet in person, they they'll register the Richter scale. <laughs> like just... human resonance will rise. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I and love you know, it. We, we do get a call. We we get a lot of comments from people saying that they love the chemistry between yeah. us. Yeah. And I bet they assume that we talk to each other all the time. When we don't, we, I mean, we, we message a little bit here and there, but these are our conversations, you know, these are our conversations yeah. Stay there. And we will have a little conversation to warm ourselves up, say hello or whatever before yeah. the podcast. But usually you just hit record and we go for it. You know? <laughs> it's rocky. Yeah. With no agenda. And um, that's the most beautiful thing about it is just creation together. Yeah. Creation. And we're going back to Egypt. We're going to be re we are going to be uncovering our pyramids and reactivating our pyramids mm -hmm. and and cleaning up all of the the dense energy that's in the ether. I mean source is doing that right now and there's mm -hmm. other entities doing that as well, but we have to do our part also. Beautiful. It's beautiful, brother. Yeah. I love you. Thank, Thank you. you. And everyone go show, make sure you support Trev. Well, brother Trevor, thanks for coming on. And everyone, please, I'll put all those links in the show notes below. So make sure you follow, like, support him any way you can. And as always, keep doing the work. Keep remembering. This is a thing that I keep hearing. Remember who you are. Don't try to become something or someone. You already are who you've always desired to be. It's, in, it's within you. It's not without. It's within and all the layers that must be peeled off like an onion to get to the core. And when you cut an onion, what happens? It brings tears. Sometimes we got to go inside. We have to cut through the layers and there will be tears, but the tears heal. The tears carry the salt. And the salt is the conductor of energy and a healing agent, both a preservative and a healing agent by pulling out anything that is no longer serving us. So tears are beautiful when we do the healing work. My brother and my dear sister, I love you. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I'm Lucas Mack. This is the Golden Rule Revolution, and I will talk to you on the next episode. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening. For support in your journey, go to my website, lucasmack.com. <music>